Hi, my name is Ryan Lane and welcome to my review channel. So for today's movie, I will be reviewing Top Gun Maverick, the long, 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 long awaited sequel to the original. So this film stars y yours truly, Tom Cruise, uh, Jennifer Connelly, Miles Teller, John Hamm, and and so it's so it's a really a continuation of the story to that. Um, I mean, it st starts off with uh, Maverick, played by Tom Cruise, still being in the Navy and still being a captain and testing out fire jets. When, after uh, once again make, uh, defying orders and making his superiors mad at him, he's called in to the Top Gun school to train recruits for a brand new mission. And so from there, the film uh, follows him as he trains a bunch of Top Gun graduates uh, to complete a very dangerous mission. Uh, the uh, geopolitical details of which are kept very vaguely and vague and ambiguous. Like, you don't know what country they're sh attacking in. They don't know, uh, like, who has brought it up. They don't know. The con you won't get the context behind it. It's just the mission through and through. Um, anyway, so let's start off with the cast. The cast is great. Tom Cruise is Maverick. Great as always. He brings a sense of cocky charisma to the role, yet he's also much wiser now than, his, than in the original. Like, he's no longer the guy who will abandon his wingman. At one point in the film, he, upon seeing one of his students abandon said wingman, he says, Abandoning your wingman. That's a move I haven't seen in a long time. It's like... Again, character development. I like that. Also, Miles Teller, he plays Rooster, the son of Goose. And Goose has um, a lot, some bad blood with Maverick. Not, uh, it's not entirely the reasons you might think. It's some of them, but there's a bit more to it and to the conflict between the two. It's done really well, and, it's exp and the layers are peeled back very well throughout the film. Uh, also, some personal, uh, Jennifer Connelly, she plays one of, uh, uh, Maverick's new love interest in the movie. A, uh, in this film's uh, universe, it takes place three years before the events of this film. And, uh, she does a really good job. She, uh, I can definitely see her being the type that would fall in love with Maverick. And sort of how she, despite that she wants to avoid getting evolved with him again. And to that end, you might be thinking, but Ryan, wasn't uh, Maverick in love with Charlie uh, in the first film? Yes, and the film makes absolutely zero mention of uh, Kelly McGillis' character in this movie. So if you were hoping to see Kelly McGillis make a cameo in this movie, you will be sorely disappointed. And speaking of cameos, Val Kilmer is in this movie. And I was very interested to see how they would handle his role in this movie because for those of you who don't know, Val Kilmer uh, is a, uh, had throat cancer. He survived, but his voice is now very raspy and speaking it does, isn't very easy for him now. So I was interested to see how the film would handle him. And at first it seemed like they were just going to play a coy, oh, here's a photo of him, bam, there's Val Kilmer in our movie. No, it actually made uses him for in person for a relatively short but very effective and heartfelt scene uh, between him and Maverick. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the action scenes. I mean, yeah, it's Top Gun. The conversation would be incomplete without it. The action scenes are great. Like, you can tell they put into work. Like, unlike uh, in the original where it's like they just sort of shake the camera around in the cockpit and you can sort of tell the difference between the uh, real shots versus the uh, studio in the cockpit shots. With this one, they you you can tell the four, that the actors are actually in the planes going insanely fast speeds and the action scenes are amazing. They, in term, they, the, the scenes... Uh, in terms of uh, cinematography and editing, they borrow a lot from Star Wars. Hell, at one point, you know, one character's like, the target's only two meters wide. I expect him to say, uh, and it's ray shielded. You'll have to use photon torpedoes at one point. But, however, it, ne it never feels like a ripoff, and it always is to great effect in the movie. The action scenes are amazing. 
Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the humor. Like, the humor is really good with this movie. Uh, so, one, like, one of the side characters, Bob, he's... He's a nerd character, and I kind of like him, if only because he's one of the only characters that wears glasses, like, like me. And so, uh, nice, nice glasses representation, you know? And so he's a bit of an introvert with a dry sense of humor, and I liked him. And Tom Cruise, he gets some pretty good uh, humor, whether it's at um, his expense or just him making fun, making funny statements. Tom Cruise does a lot is really good at comedy and it honestly I wish he would be in a comedy at this point because he is really good and I feel like the comedy too also serves a bit of a nice uh point because uh well let me put it this way Top Gun Maverick kind of worships Tom Maverick's character which yeah makes sense I mean he's played by Tom Cruise I that's natural but I feel like without the humor uh it would feel a bit uh, overindulgent, but thanks to the humor, I mean, the sim well, simply put, the film makes fun of him as much as it worships him, which, which I like. I like that. Plus, also uh, the uh, the Top Gun graduate students, they are really well developed and have good personalities, that are entertaining and compelling. What else? Oh yeah, I guess one more thing. The cinematography. The cinematography is really good. It captures the jets in compelling manner. Especially like the very beginning sequence when the first jet takes off. The jet... I won't spoil too much about it, but it's shot beautifully. It has great humor. And... So yeah, so... Uh, with that in mind, uh, thanks to great action scenes uh, with, with the fire jets, a uh, great cast that is humorous and heartfelt, and uh, with all that, all those things in mind, I will be giving Top Gun Maverick 4.5 out of 5 stars. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day.